where thousands of angry protesters have hit the streets of Madrid. Late on Saturday, riot police moved in to break up the crowds who threw cans, bottles and stones. The demonstration came just hours after the government confirmed it wants to save almost $17 billion next year. Uh, but it would do that by freezing public sector wages and cutting other government spending. But Spain's banks are in trouble too. They say they need $75 billion to fix their balance sheets. And as Tim Friends reports, many Spaniards just can't understand why the banks get bailouts, but they're being told to tighten their belts. A violent end to a largely peaceful protest. This was the anger of citizens who claim that democracy has been hijacked by the money markets. Towards the end of the day, police moved in to break up the demonstration. Protesters of all ages and backgrounds had come together outside Parliament in Madrid to demonstrate against austerity. We fought for the welfare state. Now they're taking it away from us. The youth and the old are being hit hard. I may not be with them, or maybe I think something completely different, but I want to let the people, uh, let the world know what's going on. A new budget of cuts announced this week will mean more hardship for many of the people here. At the same time, Spanish banks are to receive billions of dollars in a rescue package. The government says it's trying to achieve economic stability and it might have to apply for a full European bailout like Greece. It's a joke. It's a joke. They're, they're giving our money to save the bankers where they, they, we, have, we have people that don't have a home. And that we, we're kicking those people out in the street to pay the, the bankers, which, which are rich already. So, I mean, it's a big joke. This demonstration was not organized by unions or opposition parties. It was a protest by those alarmed at the direction of the country, where youth unemployment runs at 50%. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Madrid. Then we've got neighboring Portugal, where thousands of people were out in force in Lisbon, protesting against a tax increase. Demonstrators chanted slogans and carried banners during the rally, which was organized by the trade unions. Portugal's unemployment rate has hit record levels above 15 percent, and the country is facing its worst recession since the 1970s. Human rights activists in Northern Ireland are calling for the...